før vi går over til noget andet, men jeg tror han vil forklare om det. Det er nogle erfaringer, man har gjort sig de sidste par uger på Rødhuspladsen i København, men også man har gjort sig i tusindtal på pladserne rundt omkring i øh, Spanien. Jostu er øh, en af de Spanier, der har startet et netværk op for reelt demokrati, ikke bare i Danmark, men i hele Europa. Og han vil øh, sige lidt om øh, deres kamp og hvordan det hænger sammen med, med forholdene i Danmark og øh, lægge op til, at øh, de samler sig og begynder at snakke lidt sammen. Men Justo, Justo, det er nu. <laughs> han vil holde sin tale på engelsk, men øh, så, så ødelagt jeg vores uddannelsesstil trods alt ikke, så jeg håber, I kan følge med. Hej. Hej, everybody. I don't speak Danish, sorry about that. But, um, well, uh, still, you know, like I'm gonna try to explain to you what is this thing of the uh, real democracy platform that happened in Spain the 15th of May. And uh, as a nice guy that is around here said, told me last week, um, it's worth to not to talk about truths, but about uh, facts. And you guys will realize, right, what is the truth yourselves. So. Let me just start saying that I did a little bit of research yesterday in, on the internet. In, I'm a PhD student, so you know I want to talk about um, things that can be corroborated. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to say that is that the minimum wage in Spain is roughly 5,000 coronas a month. Six out of ten workers get a, an average of 7,000 coronas a month. Right, so just get these two amounts in your heads. The unemployment rate in Spain right now is the 21st, 21%. And in order to fight unemployment, our governments uh, have uh, created new laws to support the creation of temporary contracts, which wage is actually the minimum wage. Right? Now, here is where the scary part comes. The most expensive cost we have right in our lives is housing now to purchase a house in spain you will spend around five thousand coronas a month for the monthly mortgage quota right but renting is even worse because it's around six thousand coronas right a month so what that means is that in the best case scenario our destiny is zero savings right work and work and work without being able to enjoy our time no money to enjoy our time right but in the worst case scenario what it what this means is that we are in a constant debt right a debt that we will never be able to pay ourselves and it will be passed to our children and even our grandchildren so the main reason because the uh, uh, you know, the real democracy movement started was because some people got pissed off at this situation and they decided to camp in the main uh, square of Madrid, which is Plaza del Sol. And um, amazingly, you know, like loads of people started joining them, right, in the 15th of May. Um, up to yesterday, there were around four, five, sorry, 5,000 people every day. Uh, camping or going there, you know, like in, you know, to participate in the assemblies. And the most amazing thing, right, is that these guys that are joining are not only from the left, they're also from the right. They're also conservatives that are tired of not being able to enjoy their time, right? So the essence, the essence of the platform, of the essence of this movement is actually that, it's actually uh, having the uh, enjoying our resources to uh, enjoy our lives, right? And everybody's voice has the same weight, right? Everybody, you know, we're all, you know, like united in this fight. So uh, the real democracy platform sees commonalities with with your uh, claims, guys. We do see commonalities between the Spanish situation and the CSC conflict. First of all, uh, we are suffering an attack against values of human dignity and against social rights. And we are also suffering the abuse of the economic oligar oligarchy supported by fake democracies. Right? 
So, but still, again, we don't support you, uh, sorry, we support you holding no flags because as I guess, the CSS labor force, as the Spanish counterpart, includes people from the left, from the right, anarchists, conservatives, everywhere is included, right? We believe, we truly believe that governments and trade unions require reforms to protect us against this, this economic oligarchy, right? And now I would like to throw an, a question for you guys. Do you, do you guys think that your government and that your trade unions and all those representatives of the citizens require reforms here in Denmark too? I'm very, very curious about an answer to that question, guys. So it would be nice to initiate a debate ourselves to see, you know, like which are the commonalities. I don't want to stand my speech anymore because otherwise it's going to be too long. But uh, I would like to hear your voices. I would like to see, you know, like what you guys think about this, right? As there are lots of people here from different groups, I suppose, and and again, you know, like people that might have, you know, very different ways of thinking. But I'm pretty sure that we have commonalities, right? Issues that we have to fight all together, I suppose. So please. So, so guys, what, what if we go, you know, like to that small tent and we, you know, like we can actually, you know, sit down as well, you know, like in the floor or be stand up, you know, like, and let's have a little chat, you know, like a little discussion. The yeah, doesn't have to be, you know, like super long, you know, it's all, it's all up to you whenever you feel like leaving, you know, like just leave. But uh, for those that are interested in, in talking and giving, you know, their opinion, uh, please, you know, like join us and, and let's, let's discuss a little bit, yeah? Vi vil runde den her officielle del af demonstrationen af ved at huske på nogle små ting. For det første, sådan en arbejds arbejdskamp af den her størrelse og den her centralitet, den kræver penge, den kræver opbygning af netværk, den kræver at CSC-arbejdere og alle, der støtter dem, siger at komme ud på store arbejdspladser i Københavnsområdet. Det for at samle penge ind, men også for at samle support, samle opbakning til at begynde at få den her kamp flyttet ud af CSC's rækker, for ellers skal man ikke vinde. Det er en stor opgave for alle, både CSC-arbejdere, fyrede, strejkende og lockoutede og alle, der supporter. Den ene ting. Den anden ting det er, at der er en demonstration i det, i det her initiativ Demokrati og Real øh, næste søndag, som er en øh, europæisk aktionsdag øh, for reelt demokrati i Europa. Og så er der, som Mathias sagde, et blokaden op på Frøbel, eller på UCC, op til Kuden Hovedgade på onsdag. Og så vil jeg sige rigtig mange tak til, til jer, der, der mødte op i dag. Det er måske småt, men altså, det gør ikke der vores skyld, at øh, de store organisationer ikke øh, synes, det er øh, 30% lønnedgang er vigtigt nok til at støtte op om demonstrationer. Så vi fortsætter og bygger op, fordi at øh, fremtiden, den, den står ud og står til kamp, kammerater. Tak for en god dag. create that the world was made for our taking that wars are inevitable that poverty is unavoidable as we learn more about our global community a fundamental truth has been rediscovered we are not so different as we may seem every human has strengths weaknesses and deep emotions we crave love love laughter fear of being alone and dream for a better life you must create a better life You cannot sit on the couch watching television or playing video games, waiting for a revolution. You are the revolution. Every time you decide not to exercise your rights, every time you refuse to hear another viewpoint, every time you ignore the world around you, every time you spend a dollar at a business, that doesn't pay a fair wage you are contributing to the oppression of the human body and the repression of the human mind. You have a choice, a choice to take. Ja, 
Instead of, uh, you know, like being a little bit separated, let's unite, if you like. Whoever that wants to have a little discussion. As I was saying before, you know, like we could have, um, we can, we can talk a little bit about what do you, you think about all this movement and uh, how it could be applied here or, well, whatever you like. So let's just uh, gather whoever that wants to speak, right? And uh, let's have a chat. Thanks. to our parents and our grandparents uh, where they they couldn't choose so much the the education so they were born ignorant and many of them died ignorant as well right but ourselves are a little bit different in spain for instance you know like the vast majority of the people of my age hold a degree what this means is that you know like holding a degree in spain is not giving you a a job anymore necessarily but at least what at least what it gives us is the intellectual resources to think, right? So please, guys, you know, like feel free to say whatever you guys think uh, and answer, you know, like to the people that are talking. And... But I don't have a PhD in economy. So <laughs> I can open my Do you do you need do you but need I a PhD you? in economy? I can do you train need? you. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you two here? How long? I'm talking about this one. We're starting now. Yeah. yeah. Do people right. know about right. the EU yeah. directive that's going for vote on the 27th? Okay. It's an EU directive. We talked about it on Wednesday, Student of Um That's going to make all ad uh, advisements from the World Bank and IMF to kind of EU law. So we have to abide whenever the IMF or the World Bank is going to advise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we have a demonstration next Sunday, the 19th, and it's global. It's but we really need to have out have a big bigger turnout than this. The last three four times, it's it's been okay. We've been from 50, 20 to around 100, but it's not enough. We need to, to, to make Copenhagen aware that if you don't go on the streets, this new EU directive is gonna screw us. Big time, and we're not gonna notice it before it's way too late. So, yeah. anybody have any suggestions or know any kind of tubes to, to go out and, and, and get in touch with people? Because we really need to have 5,000 and not only like 50 next time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're talking in English, yes? Yeah, yeah okay, we're talking in English. I have a suggestion that Crit, the chalk, is innocent. I've seen, I've just come from Granada and I see that everybody is writing on everything that is possible to write on, uh, all the pap cases, I don't know, paper, and that's really, it's really a creative process, it's wonderful to see everybody's just writing, writing on papers and everything, and uh, the first thing for me, I want to, to, to say to the Danish people, that when uh, For Rasmussen came in charge eight years ago, he changed the leading of the television to a, 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 a Venstre man. And, uh, and uh, after that, we don't see what's going on in Europe. There's a mil there are millions of people on the streets in Europe, and it's not only Spain. This 19th, it would be all over Europe, but Danish television is not showing nada, nothing. And this is, uh, we are a country who went out with the right to freedom of speech. We really, really need to, to present this for the other people so they can see the brutal violence that the state forces do upon our brothers and sisters in the whole of Europe. This was my solution for today, but we really need some ideas to, 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 to do something, and I've run out of ideas. I mean, then, so do you think that they you know, 100,000 people on distortion and, yeah. and 20 people for, for, for fighting here yeah. in this place? I, I, Give them I, I, free beers and you fill I, the places like hell. I think it's about getting out and getting getting personal contact with people. Uh, on the 2nd of April we had um, a demonstration called Ask of Vico Visa Denmark Bay and for the first one and a half month of the, the planning and all we didn't really have a lot of people turning uh, turning into the Facebook page. Then for the last week we went 10 people on the streets 
10 people with flyers, with a megaphone, with a whole bunch of noise. And people just jumping around and giving flyers and talking to old women, young children, upset men, and we talked with anybody. We had like this little group. In the end, it turned out that we had like five, five, six thousand with us that Saturday. So I really think they don't care. They just don't know that they care. Yeah. They don't know what's going on. In Denmark, we have always have a saying, Guardian Rat clothing click. I don't think that it has changed that much. I mean, we are really still very social. The problem is we've gotten too rich. We, it's, 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 it's inconvenient to be on the street. It's inconvenient to do anything. And when the media uh, don't tell anything, I mean, if people saw, saw what happens to, to, to old women in the streets of Barcelona, and all they would be full of rage as I was the first time. I mean, 60 plus ladies sitting in the streets getting beat up by masked state police in Europe. This should not be going on. I mean, I get so angry and I have to talk about it. It's, it, it's not supposed to be like this. And that she, he uh, and, and some over there don't know is simply just not enough. It's not a good enough reason we need to all be going out and, and I don't know, not all be going out. We need to, to find yeah, creative was, solutions. From the press here. What are you doing mm -hmm. for us? Yeah, I'm making for uh, local television, TV Mine, yeah. okay. and, and, uh, and YouTube and uh, okay. yeah, so it's underground. Yeah, underground well, news. Still, you know, like good enough. It's just yeah. so different because I'm not coming from Denmark either. I'm coming from uh, Sao Paulo, Denmark. Ah. And uh, you know, when there's something going on, there's two and a half, three thousand people. Yeah. And this is honestly, I, I joined that now since three weeks. This is really disappointing. And also, you're, where are the Spanish people today? You know, like yeah. yesterday, you know, last last week, where where we fucked it up with the information. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. seen, I've seen this people. I'm seeing people paint. I saw on television. Was it the one to close the borders, man? Yeah. What mm. the fuck? A door is closed. I cannot see what's going on. And we can, next thing is that we cannot get out. I think we all agree on all the the issues. That's not the problem. The problem is to get the message out. And. We need to put up some posters saying that demonstration every Sunday, something is happening. We need to send some text messages. We need to get some more stuff going on on Facebook. And we need to use the manifesto from the Spanish Revolution. Because people are always talking about, what is this? What are we doing? Why are we here? Yeah, but use the manifesto. And to the meeting on Wednesday, I'm gonna translate the manifesto to Danish and then we have to make some flyers out of it and show it to people at the meetings and at the demonstrations and we need to get out because we all agree uh, on a lot of stuff but people don't know about this yet anybody know anybody or have access to like large printers because I mean either at work facilities or at school or, or anything um, we really need people to have that can do the printing and that can do the putting up I mean it's, it's not about yeah not only about the ideas it's also about getting people out on the streets people, people I suppose that people that want to be involved in this you know like the ones that have the possibility of uh, printing I'm not saying 200, you know, copies yeah. every every uh, every day or every you know like Sunday, whatever that is, right? Yeah. But maybe you know like uh, 20, 30, 50, you know, why not? I can do that myself at work. You know, I don't think there's gonna be any problem. So, uh, if I if I do print 200, maybe you know, my voice is gonna cut my balls. You know, but. Well, I've, I've been trying to write them for three weeks now, and nobody have replied. Even, even the most like uh, progressive body called Mulkaft. I've texted them so many times with links and, and different kinds. They haven't replied any answer, any of my posts. And so I don't. I, don't, I think the media is, is is even the alternative media doesn't really know what's going on because the official media isn't telling anything. I mean, uh, the, the direction, yeah. like, because the information is the most important thing to spread out, yeah. and this yeah. is the first problem, and uh, the direction should be, like, not to find, like, a temporary solution, but, like, to, 
have an idea how to okay to create them our own media. Like as with this with this thing, mm -hmm. like 20 minutes like bulletin on the Rodkus Plus and mm -hmm. the information and then move away. Then the next day 20 minutes. I mean that's a valuable truth that we should abide in our society. The right to housing, employment, culture, health, education, political participation, free personal development, and consumers' rights for the healthy and happy life. The current status of our government and the economic system does not take care of, the, of, of, of all these rights, and in many ways is an obstacle to human progress. Democracy belongs to the people. Demos, people, kratos, government which means that government is made of every one of us. However, in Spain, most of the political class does not even listen to us. Politicians should, should be bringing our voice to the institutions, facilitating the political participation of the citizens through direct channels that provide the greatest benefit to the wider society, not to get rich and prosper at our expense, attending only to the dictatorship of major economic powers and holding them in power through a bipartidism held, held, held it by the inamovable acronym PP and PSOE, which are basically the conservatives and the socialists in Spain. So last for, last for power and its accumulation is only a few, creating inequality, tension and injustice, which leads to violence, which we reject. The obsolete and natural economic model fools the, society, the social machinery in a growing spiral that consumes itself by enriching a few and sends into poverty the rest. Until collapse, we will and purpose of the current system is an accumulation of money, not regarding efficiency and welfare of society. Wasting resources, destroying the planet, creating unemployment and unhappy consumers. Our future to an abstract economy which never returns benefits for the most, we can limit it that abuse that we are all suffering. We need an ethical revolution. Instead of placing money above human beings, we shall put it back to our service. We are people, not products. I am not a product of what I buy, why I buy and who I buy it from. For all of the above, I'm outraged. I think and I can change it. I think, uh, I think I can help. I know we, I know that together we can. This is publishing articles about us. A few years ago, Julian Assange was a weird outcast, a hacker. Now he has the throat of the established media. So what I want to say is, do not get frustrated when the mainstream media does not pick up the torch immediately. They do not do this because they're evil or because they have some sort of hidden agenda. They're just slow and they're complicit. We, on the other hand, we have to pick up the torch that the mainstream media has left. Through WikiLeaks, we can all become, we can all become journalists. But what it requires is political and journalistic integrity. We must not become a fringe group. We must not become involved in conspiracy theories of violence. We must pick up the torch and we must show people the truth. And the truth is out there, but we have to pick up these journalistic values and principles. So don't be, um, don't be depressed, don't, don't disparage. Because the media, the mainstream media, will pick up on it. Politiken has already is already cooperating with WikiLeaks. They have had access to the the, the, the leak about the banks, the international banks. They're picking up the torch right now, but it's slow. We have to pick up the torch for them. So don't disparage.
yeah. right? Definitely one of the things I'm gonna do. Maybe we should try to find a, a nice design we can share, right? Something something that doesn't go, you know, like just uh, you know, like in a piece of paper, like in the one I have, right? Because this is actually the original well, the manifest with your workplace. Well, maybe maybe people just will read, you know, manifest to real democracy now. Period. You have the Exactly. So it's all about. You know, I guess you know, it's to <laughs> maybe you know, like so doing a new way. Yes, 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 a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think the card show or something, the painting in the is a really good idea. Yeah, you don't have permission to right? no, no, no. do any permission, guy, Mister. No, no, thank you. So basically, involve involve uh, organizations. We need to paint some space, but then we have one WordPress and we have some on the Anon KBK creation. That's the problem, and it's not. It's really hard to organize something this new, and, and it's not really new, but it's so divided. We are still very. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually quite interested in this this whole situation from a psychological perspective. Uh, why are we here? Why are, why are we here? Because a lot of people they're not here. We are we are minority. I, I think we recognize the situation. The situation is two things. We recognize the situation and we know that there are people here yeah. who also feel yeah. this way. Yeah. There are a lot of, there are a lot of people who are not here because they think that they're not benefiting. That's the thing. If they knew if they understood why they're here, why they benefit, they will be here. And what, why do people, what, what, what influences this understanding of what they benefit? I'm here not because I'm, I'm materialist, uh, I'm, uh, in a, I'm benefiting in any material sense. I'm not being paid. This is voluntary work. So I'm doing it because I have an ideal. I have an ideal and I'm trying to activate more and more my empathy. I'm trying to practice more this idea that I feel I feel less alone if I open my heart up to the suffering and the joys of all living beings in this world. It, it, it uh, results in a fundamental solitude in me. But these are ideals, these are values, and these are things that I benefit from because I prioritize something idealistic over something materialistic. I could have had a fucking well-paid summer job like I had last summer for an insurance company but I said no. I will choose to work for the volunteer work here. I will choose to do that. Somehow, they know that we know, even though we not might, we might not know it consciously. So that's the whole fear thing. The stress, stress, fear is the same thing. Um, peaceful, happy, cheerful, joyful, playful, you know. And, uh, but I also think it's very important to make like uh, different actions and not like I know that it's not violent uh, actions, uh, but action shows telling that we want to create a big movement. Uh, action shows telling that we are creating a big movement because if it, we don't do it in that way, I think we will gonna lose a lot of people who actually agree with us, but misunderstand what is. Uh, what we actually want to tell yeah. to the people. And I think it's very important to uh, use uh, humor and use different uh, kind of uh, theater, stuff like that. And, uh, That's uh, I know a guy from, uh, I think he's from uh, Chile or something, who is uh, doing a lot of uh, stuff. And uh, so we can try to use him to make some, some uh, so it's kind of like a happening or something. And uh, we are saying what we actually mean. Like, I think it's a very good idea that loving police, because it's a very uh, good sign that we don't want to make the consultations. And I mean, of course, everyone, or I don't know, but I have been to lots of demonstrations. It wasn't the meaning that it should be violence, it be comfortable with the police, but it's happened because they also have their their way to act, but I think it's very important that we are we are going against that and uh, yeah. There's a it's very okay, important that we are going to make a big or create a big movement who is actually will like talk to the people and talk to the people who's not sitting here.
parties and in underground distortion go there and then there are 200, 400 people in front of this house so they cannot sell the house anymore <laughs> and they just invite tourists from uh, from the main train station airport go to this so there are good actions around uh, and we should maybe decide on okay who wants to join this action can you imagine to make this action we shouldn't invent the the whole uh, the whole thing new we should also see what works in other countries i don't know who was first <laughs> I'm not sure if it was me yet. But that uh, what I want to say is that, uh, is that I think of course we shall invite them into this, but I think it's a very big problem that they are not spreading it out to their members. They are not yeah they are not uh, doing anything for their members to come but to their supporters. And I think that's a very, very big problem. And I think we have to like but then we also have to be a strong uh, movement with lots of people on the street and stuff like that. But I think really it's a very big problem. But the revolution starts yourself. I'm yeah. sorry, and then we are just... Yeah. Uh, I know that. The you want to say. We don't need the establishment right now. We don't need... We don't need to become a political party. We don't need to be a part of the established media. We need to change them. We, we don't have to be popular. We're the, we're the dark knights. We're, we're the hero of the city deserves. Um, I just want to say that uh, the biggest issue here is spreading the information. So, yeah. so the main idea is like people to organize themselves in order to solve this problem. The information should just be out there.